my name is Jesse, and today I'll be going over some really quick and easy ways that you can turn an ordinary bathtub in The Sims 4 into something way cooler. I'm gonna show you how you can customize it and personalize it to fit your build perfectly. So as you can see here, I'll just create an ordinary room. This will be our bathroom. I'll go ahead and add some lights so you can see properly what I'm doing. There we go. What you're going to want to do now is add these kind of two uh, smaller squares or cubes in the room. Uh, the bathtub will be going in between these two cubes. And now you're going to go into the section for the half walls and choose the lowest version of the half walls and just kind of connect the two cubes and I'll just add some wall paints quickly and so this is where the bathtub will go the bathtub fits perfectly on these two squares and the half wall does not interfere with the bathtub in any way and your sim will be able to get in and out of the bathtub like normal Oh, and before putting the bathtub in, you're gonna need to put the bb.move objects cheat in the box for it to function properly. Now, I've gone ahead and kind of uh, pre-built some of the rooms that you saw in the intro with the decoration uh, and stuff around it. But it's really just the same kind of basic of the room like I showed just now. And so I add my desired... Um, texture to the wall, in this case the stone wall, I just shove my bath right in there. And now what you're gonna wanna do is go into the section for the half walls again and go down to the option where you can choose the different kinds of uh, wall trims, like the topping of the half wall. And you can choose one that fits with the bathtub or with the texture of the wall or whatever you like. Here I'm going with the simple one that just kind of floats together with the bathtub. And now I'm gonna show you how to add this kind of window shape to the bathtub. Now it's actually really really simple. Just go into the wall tool and the second or the right uh, half wall, just turn that into a normal sized wall. Uh, add the wall paint back on and now just go in and Take a window of your choice and I kind of use this standard square window and you just fit it exactly where you want it and it kind of turns into this really cool shower wall. Now we're going to take it up a notch and we're going to do this kind of window with a shelf on it. And this is actually the industrial window from Eco Lifestyle. And I absolutely love this use for it, and can't believe I didn't think about this sooner. Now you're gonna do the same thing as we did before, and just add a normal wall size to the uh, one part, to the part where you want the window. And you just choose your window, like in this case, the un in thick industrial one from Eco Lifestyle. Make sure you have the thick part uh, facing away from the bathtub and then just I choose the, f the flowers from Eco Lifestyle as well but you can just choose any kind of decoration item that you want and then you're gonna use the control 9 cheat to raise the item off the ground and fit it to the kind of shelf of the window this is actually my favorite hack of the video because I've find this to be really stylish and elegant. Now for this second version of the room, we're actually going about j just the same way as the last one. I've already added the window and stuff because it's exactly the same as the previous one, just different colors. And I just place these kind of hanging plants using the alt key to really fit it in perfectly and the kind of round stone flower arrangement from Eagle Lifestyle also fits in really nicely with the color scheme so I just wanted to include just like the last one just 
Control 9 to raise it up from the ground and fit it in. Now this last one is very simple because this is really just adding some beams to kind of uh, distinguish the wood part from the stone wall and just kind of add a bit of a frame around it. And that was pretty much it for this video. This is at least a few ways that you can change up the looks of the ordinary bathtubs in the game. And I hope you did like some of my ideas. And let me know down, down below which one was your favorite. And if you like the video and like what I do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And push the notification bell icon down below to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm thinking I'll be going over quite a few of these kinds of building hacks and I kind of turn it into a series because I really do enjoy doing this. I really do enjoy trying to come up with new ways of upcycling the existing items in the game without having to use custom content and download stuff like that. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the future videos. Until next time.